Now, if you received the single shot Johnson and Johnson vaccine, this information is for you. Infectious disease experts are now trying to decide whether you need a booster shot. The debate comes as the Delta strain of the coronavirus is spreading fast across the U.S. CBS 2's Hermela Aragawi is live in San Fernando with that story. Hermela. Hi, Pat. Well, the CDC is not recommending a booster shot. So if you walk into a vaccine site like this one and tell them you've had the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and want the second one, they'll likely not give it to you. But we are learning that some doctors are bypassing the guidance and getting that booster shot anyway. I do know of colleagues that have gotten the uh, booster shot. Dr. Angelique Campen yeah, is among the health yeah, experts yeah. that are debating whether people who received the one dose Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine need to get a second Pfizer or Moderna booster shot to get adequate protection from the Delta variant, which is fueling a rise in COVID-19 cases across the U.S. After a number of weeks of no coronavirus patients, I'm starting to see more coronavirus illnesses trickle in. Dr. Campen is an ER doctor at Providence St. Joseph's Medical Center in Burbank. She tells us she and her colleagues in other parts of the country are noticing a trend. The ones um, that are vaccinated, though, that uh, end up testing positive, nine times out of 10, are in patients that have received the J&J &J vaccine. But the CDC is not recommending booster shots, saying there is not enough data that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine offers less protection from the Delta variant. Dr. Suman Radhakrishna, Director of Infectious Diseases at Dignity Health California Medical Center, agrees. It did prove to not work as well with the UK variant. So by inference, people are assuming that it probably may not work as well against the Delta variant. In a statement, a Johnson & Johnson spokesperson told us they have ongoing trials to assess the need for and timing of booster doses of its vaccine, adding we are monitoring the Delta variant and are testing whether the immune response elicited by our COVID-19 vaccine is also targeting this strain and capable of neutralizing it in a lab setting. Now, it is important to note both doctors we talked to and many others say the one dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine does prevent serious illness even from the Delta variant. What is not understood, though, is whether you can transmit the virus to someone else. So if you work in a high risk space or live with a high risk person, it's best to wear your mask as much as possible. Live in San Fernando, Hermela Argawi, CBS 2 News.